that's me for today. Desmond, you better lock up after that customer. Oh, very well, my sweet little Ruby. <laughs> you all right? Oh, yes, my little diamond. Mm. What do you want? Oh, just your golden face, my little silver. Mm. <laughs> You and your nonsense. Oh, just trying to be friendly, my sweet little pearl. Broken <laughs> hints to her may not be enough, Desmond. Oh, I'm going to give her a treat she won't forget. She's going to have the best 30th wedding anniversary she's ever had. Well, if you can't get it right on your 30th attempt, you may as well give up. <laughs> That's a long time, Desmond. Yes. You know something, Desmond? I envy you. You have a nice home. Nice shop, nice kids, beautiful wife. You make me sick. <laughs> He's the kind of person you see in those adverts. You think so? Yeah, man, for pensions. Pensions? <laughs> Four five. When was the last time you saw a black family in an advert? <laughs> as far as the advertisers are concerned, we don't use credit cards, we don't smoke cigars. According to them, only Jewish people use telephones. <laughs> Did you ever see a black man in a car commercial? Hey, that man doesn't have a car. <laughs> ah, that's different. You see, that's my key to a successful marriage. Don't have a car. You always have arguments about who's in charge. Okay, take a right up what's it hill. Change down into second, you can't go up a hill in foot. All right, do a left. No, I'll be mean a right. Mind the lorry. Look out for the lollipop, man. You're gonna run over the pram. Now look what you've done. No, no. You're much better without a care. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Yes. I'm glad I never drove with you, Desmond. Didn't you take driving lessons once? Oh, yes, I was. But only because Shirley wanted me to. But then I stopped because I found out that the thought of me becoming a good driver would make her jealous. You see, poor guy, that is the second key to my success. I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you this, because it won't help you. <laughs> never highlight your partner's weak spots. There are some things you never mention. Like what? Well, that would be telling. But well, that's between me and Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> well, James, what can I say? The last time I shook my thang on a dance floor must have been at students' gigs. But James, this one. Ah, wonderful girl. Brings out the devil in one. <laughs> you know something, James? I think I'm in love. <laughs> James, can I call you back? I thought you'd left. Uh, no, sir, I need you to sign these. C couldn't it wait till the morning? No, sir. Are uh, you all right, sir? You seem a little nervous. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> not nervous. Are you playing squash again? I, I thought Mondays were your squash nights. Uh, uh, yes, well, I thought I'd play again today. Are you playing with anyone special? No. What makes you think that? Pink doesn't suit you, sir. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Mandy. Thank you. Uh, Mandy? Yes, sir. What colours do suit me? Oh, well, uh, I've always fancied you. I mean, I've always, uh, <laughs> always liked you in brighter colours. Really? So, uh, if you and I were out on a date, what would you dress me up in? Uh, I'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> How's my ragamuffin? <laughs> you must be Mandy. Uh, Mandy, Dr. Rebson, Dr. Rebson, Mandy. Patricia. <laughs> I left my towel in your flat last night. Did you bring it? Uh, <laughs> towel? What towel? Oh, come on, Michael. How could you miss it? It's a bright pink bath towel. Oh, that towel. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I left it in the bag. I? Well done, Raga. Patricia! <laughs> uh, Mandy, will that be all? Yes, would sell like the blue copy or the pink. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> okay, are you ready? For what? Squash <laughs> and supper with your parents. Listen, what should I wear tonight? Will it be formal? No, no, no. Look, look, wear anything. Look, it's just my mother cooking some food. It's no big deal, OK? Michael, she invited me to dinner. I feel odd. I've only known you a couple of weeks. No, yeah, I'm surprised she waited that long. Look, are you all right? I just want to show you off a bit. Oh, show me off a bit? Mm. What am I, a pedigree dog? <laughs> I'm not going to beat my chest and drag you by your hair. If you want to check it, check it. If you don't want to check it, then draw the rest. Years 
Because it's a long time to be with the same person. Hmm. Perhaps. So what's their secret? Ah, believe it or not, they talk things through. Really? Yes. My mother does all the talking, my father sits through it. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of woman. <laughs> Oh, come on, Desmond, you're not dressed yet. Hurry up, man, they'll be here soon. We got plenty of time. Besides, I've only just started this. You are going to behave yourself tonight. Oh, best behavior, Cheryl. <laughs> what do you think of my dress? What about it? Hmm? You think I look all right? You look fabulous. Why did you pause when you said that? Pause? What pause? You see, you did it again. <laughs> this dress don't suit me, does it? You look fine, Cheryl. A minute ago, it was fabulous. Now it's only fine. <laughs> fine, fabulous. What's the difference? What's the difference? It's like telling somebody the shirt button's undone when it's actually the flies. <laughs> I don't like it when you're in this mood. I'm not in a mood. We always follow when you get in these moods. When you ask me things like, what shall I wear and what do I look like, it usually means that you feel terrible and anything that Desmond says, you'll disagree. I do not. Oh, yes, you do. I do not. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I do not. Oh, yes, you do. No, I do not. Oh, yes, you do. I thought you two were going out. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yes, you are. This is Michael's dinner with his parents. Oh, I don't have to go out. I live here. Michael don't. Come on, Mum. We just want to see what the doc looks like. Her name is Patricia. And if you are going to meet her, I suggest you go inside and put on something decent. I am decent. Well, Sean's cap isn't. So go and take it off. Well, how come in these days of sexual equality, it's still a crime for a man to wear a hat indoors? Oh, come on, let's go. We're not wanted here. Yeah, I hope you make this much fuss over me next time I bring a girl home. How are you going to find a girl wearing a hat like that? <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you want to go for your anniversary tomorrow? I've checked the piggy bank and the sky is the limit. Wherever you want to go, my angel, I'll take you there. I don't know. You choose. Well, it's my treat, so you should decide. Why? Because I'm paying. So? <laughs> well, it's my treat. Desmond, you make all the decisions in this house. I just go along with them. Well, no, I don't. I mean, well, I don't tell you what dress to wear, for example. Uh, so we back on the dress again. <laughs> eh? You don't like me in this dress, do you? But I, hmm? You think I look drab, fat, and miserable? I didn't say you look fat. <laughs> it's not what you say, it's what you didn't say that really matters. Look, in relationships, there are certain things you say and certain things you do not say. Huh. For instance, I mean, I've never told anybody how many times you fail your driving tests. Keep your voice down, woman. Why? You didn't fail once. But five times. <laughs> When I wanted to learn to drive, you wouldn't let me. Why? Because you're frightened, I would pass and make you look stupid. Which wouldn't be very difficult. So we get down to the real reason why you're feeling miserable all day. Can you blame me? Desmond, look, we've been married for 30 years. How many times do you remember our wedding anniversary, eh? Once! <laughs> what do you want me to do? Hmm? Pat you on the back for that? Yes. <laughs> Mum, fill it up with an uppercut and a... Shh, shh. <laughs> stay over this and go to your rooms. What's the point? We can still hear you from now. Because I said so. <laughs> now, see what you've done. You've told the whole world I failed the driving test. I mean, I can't be brilliant at everything. <laughs> and if you really want to know what I think about that dress. Desmond, I'm warning you. Don't you dare. It could look better in a camping shop on a pole with two pegs instead of on you. Desmond, you... You, you, you apology for a barber. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia... I'd like you to meet my parents. <laughs> Would you like some potatoes, Patricia? Yes, please. I love potatoes. So do I. But I prefer rice. <laughs> oh, sweet potatoes are nice and so are yams. Plantains are a bit heavy and could take about a week to digest. <laughs> but you would know all about digestion, wouldn't you, Patricia? How different kinds of foods go down and what causes them to come up. <laughs> Father, please be quiet. You're making me feel ill. Well, it's a good thing Patricia is here. Don't you think so, Cheryl? <laughs> I... <laughs> His 
it strange how much garbage men can talk, Patricia? Yes. And then isn't it strange just how badly some parents can behave? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you look at me in that tone of voice? I can look at you anywhere I like. You can't stop me looking at you. This is my house. <laughs> Your house. Since when has this been a house? This is a flat, Desmond. Just a figure of speech. Hmm. Well, you just figure out what you're trying to say. <laughs> All right, premises, then. Look, Father... Boy, shut up and eat your food. <laughs> That's it. No, I'm sorry. Look. Michael, sit down and stop being dramatic. Michael, you're beginning to behave like your father. <laughs> Look, I think you both owe Patricia an apology. What for? No, it's OK. If this is what 30 years of happy marriage is like, then this is a valuable experience. Experience is the right word. Father, don't start. Start? I could start anything I want. I started this flat. I started the shop. I even started you. You never finish anything you start. That's true. Well, let's just finish this argument, then. Yes, Desmond, I think you ought to apologize. Apologize? I didn't start the argument, it was you. All I wanted to do was to take you out for your 30th anniversary. Now, all I could hear is about how fat you is and about that stupid sack you call a dress. <laughs> Why don't you just shut your mouth and give your brains a chance? If I want to open my mouth, I'll open my mouth as wide as I want. Oh, please. <laughs> Um, I wonder if I might visit your bathroom. Yes, Please. yes, of course. That's no, all right. I'll show her. <laughs> now, look what you've done. I think I ought to go. No, don't. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Look, I'll, I'll, I'll sort it out. I'll, I'll, I'll smack their bottoms and send them to bed without any dinner, all right? It's very appropriate. They're certainly behaving like children at the moment. What do you mean? My parents aren't childish. Oh, I'm sure they're not. But you must admit that this is not the way civilised people conduct themselves. Oh, I see. What you mean is this is not the way doctors conduct themselves. Well, maybe your parents are prim and proper, but at least mine say what they think. And they're entitled to behave any way they want in their own house. Flat. <laughs> Premises. <laughs> you never like it. Come on, no. As they are, and to think you told me you had nothing in common with your father. Why well, move from my face? And let me go home. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry, Patricia. Michael, don't tell me you're sorry. Sorry, we haven't been introduced. Patricia, my sister Gloria, my brother Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you downstairs. Oh, what's up, Doc? Not now, Gloria. <laughs> She's nice. Not like your usual boring types. Yeah, man, she's fit and... <laughs> right, let's go and sort them out, shall we? I got you on that one. No, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Quiet! Quiet, <laughs> right, Dad. Come over here with me. Come on. Michael, you be referee and me and Sean will get to the bottom of this. Right, Dad, why does Mum get on your nerves? She doesn't. Tell him he gets on mine. All right, Mum, we'll get to you in a minute. Yes, one at a time. Well, it's basically her fault. Well, it takes two to argue. Oh, not your mother. She can <laughs> argue with herself happily all day. <laughs> Be fair. I mean, we all have our off days, but when two people are having the same off day, then that's the way of. I mean, today's been so off, it hasn't been switched on. So why don't you brighten up our day and switch on Mum's light? Well, I can't. I think she's blown her bones <laughs> out. All right, all right, in a minute. That's the spirit. <laughs> all right. Now, listen up, Mum. This is your good-looking son talking to you, so you better listen up. John, just cut the jive talk. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, Mum. OK, I'll get straight to the point. Yes. Stop arguing because we're fed up of all the noise! <laughs> now you know what it feels like. So what are you going to do about it? Parents, who needs them? <laughs> Happy anniversary! Oh, thank you, 
you, darling. Mmm, <laughs> they smell wonderful, darling. Happy anniversary, darling. Oh. Thank you, darling. <laughs> and uh, where would darling like to go tonight? <laughs> to the moon, darling. Oh, that comes afterwards, darling. <laughs> Um, I think I prefer it when you're arguing, darlings. <laughs> chocolate? You buy me chocolate? <laughs> What's wrong, darling? Don't call me darling, Desmond. <laughs> oh, you could buy me chocolate when you know I'm trying to lose weight. Well, I didn't know you was on a diet. I told you yesterday. But you weren't listening to me. You never listened to me. Well, how can I listen to you? You was hollering at me all day. I was not hollering at you all day. Yes, you was hollering at me all day. I was not. Happy anniversary! Yeah, a little something for you, Cheryl. Thank you, Matthew. And this is for you, Cheryl. Thank you. Well, how come she get all the presents? <laughs> what about me? Because she's your wife and you're not. <laughs> Chocolates? Yes, my favorite. <laughs> Thank you, pork pie. It's the tart that counts. Or the calories that count. <laughs> Charlie, my present is something a bit more thoughtful. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Low impact aerobics. <laughs> you think I need exercise? Oh, yes. <laughs> What's great about this is that, I mean, it's suitable for all ages, including pensioners. <laughs> right. Well, then, when you find a pensioner, give it to her. <laughs> what, Cheryl? You put them up to this, didn't you? What are you talking you about? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, please tell me, because I don't know. Neither do I. She's the only one who knows what's going on. She? Who you calling she? She's the cat's mother. She has a name. Well, I can think of half a dozen. But I don't want to start now and embarrass our friends. Your friends. Our friends. Oh, my friends. Why are you arguing? I mean, it's your anniversary. You shouldn't be doing this. I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing anything. It's her. 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 Stop it. it. Stop it now! You keep your nose out of this. Yeah, but that's what I was just trying to. I didn't ask you to try anything. Well, I'm not going to. Good! <laughs> well, I know when I'm not wanted. Come on, Matthew. Uh, it's you they don't want. I think I can stay. Come on! All right, all right, keep your hair on. I don't have any. Please follow Chocolate. Uh, yes, could I speak to Dr. Patricia Robeson, please? Not on duty. Okay. Thanks. Women. Who needs them? It's the uh, woman with the loud bath towel, sir. Shall I show her in, or shall I tell her to take a bath elsewhere? No, 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 no. Uh, show her in. This will only be a very quick shower. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mandy. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about last night. No, I'm sorry. I felt the evening was a disaster on my part. I just wanted to go home and start a new day. If your parents want to have healthy arguments around their own dinner table, then so what? At least they're honest. And to think I was going to give you your marching orders. No, you weren't. You've been trying to ring me all morning. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yes, you have. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Give me a kiss. Uh, I'm in the bath. <laughs> what do you reckon, Sean? Should we trade these two in and get a pair of sporty, sensible parents? Well, I don't think anybody would have him. We could stop all this nonsense if he would apologize. I didn't start the argument, she did. I don't care who started it, someone's got to finish it. Pork pie. Talk to them, man. See if you can talk some sense into that bone head. Don't be rude. Don't talk to me about being rude. Now listen up, you two. People have accused me of being all sorts of things in my lifetime. Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> but stubbornness is not one of them. That award goes to Desmond, uh, who has plenty, enough for all of us. <laughs> now, Shirley's a very proud person. 
and a very generous woman. But when these two elements have a fight, nobody wins. So stop being so stupid, give each other a kiss and say happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, you go sit down. Come, Bert. Do your thing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Let our hearts call it a day. But before you walk away, I sincerely want to say I wish you bluebirds in the spring. <laughs> To give your heart a song to sing And then a kiss And more than this I wish you love And in July A lemonade To cool you in Some leafy glade I wish you health and more than well, I wish you love. My breaking heart and I agree that you and I could never be. So with my best, my very best, I'd set you free. I wish you shelter from a storm, <laughs> a cozy fire to keep you warm. But most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you love. <laughs> Absolutely so Happy anniversary, Mother. Oh, thank you, Michael and Patricia. They're lovely. Desmond, I promise never to mention your driving lessons again. <laughs> for the next 30 years. <laughs> and I promise never to mention your weight again. Uh, can I have the chocolates? 